Team Beacon Shores Drive, incredible piece of property, 1.06 acres, a point lot, 254 feet of waterfront. Amazing thing about this, if you look at this corner of the house, that's the master bedroom on the top left side. Down to the water, it's only 50 feet. You can't get any closer than that. And that's what really highlights this property. A couple of things. One, it's an incredible piece of property. Uh, the elevation coming out the lower level to walk out to the dock is just six feet as you drop down to go out to that beautiful site. And then the other thing is, is this house has been completely remodeled. I'm talking everything uh, back in 2021. So it's got new appliances, floorings, bathrooms. Uh, there's more square footage in it. As you can see behind me, we've got a four car garage, two car down below, two car up top, architectural shingles. They've got a, uh, a new HVAC system that's gone in place recently. Uh, so just a number of things that we're gonna talk about as we go into the house. New granite countertops, there's even an area, they have quartz downstairs in the bottom. Uh, flooring consists of carpet. Uh, we've got some uh, vinyl plank, hardwood, all of those things as well. And again, you can see this wonderful driveway, plenty of places to park. Uh, for guests and again we'll get to the property when we walk around the back side of the house but this is incredible we've got over 5,000 square feet of space here uh, 4839 heated and another 627 this unfinished area as well so there's plenty of storage and uh, it's a very open plan the house was built in 2000 but you'll see when we get in there it'll feel like it was just built here recently so let's head on in take a look at this wonderful layout uh, one other thing I want to mention we'll talk about the bedrooms we've got four bedrooms actually on the main level which is great another two bedroom suites down below uh, and there are just a number of other things to talk about as we get into this home all right we come in as you see we've got these beautiful engineered hardwood floors Again, this is stuff is all new, looks great. You've got light fixtures in here. You've got a dining room area over here. Behind me here on this side, we've got, which really is a bedroom. Uh, it is, you know, closet doors. They've, they're using it as an office. Um, but this would be a nice bedroom set up, especially if you had younger children or grandkids or that type of thing. You might even want to consider putting a uh, crib in there uh, just to be, easy access type thing. Again, we talk about the view. We're in the living room. You got this gorgeous view out to the back deck. We're going to walk out there and take a look because that's what you really want to see is the property that you're sitting on. Now, if you look at the deck here, this is all, again, new ironwood eBay or ePay, what they call it. And it's a very, very good product. You can see, again, how easily accessible the dock is. Again, that's all ironwood as well. Um, great setup here. What I love about this, you're on a point lot, but you're not sticking out in the main lake. You've got an island over there that, you know, you're never going to see houses on. You're pulled back in from the main boat traffic, which is great. Uh, and so you've got a nice area here that you can swim, uh, float around with the kids, the grandchildren. And again, you get the big view, but without the uh, waves that come with that. And look at this yard. I mean, incredible. What a view and what a beautiful piece of property. So let's head on into the living room, check that out. So we come into the living room slash kitchen area. All new appliances, stainless steel, as you can see, electric flat top here. Dishwasher, double ovens, microwave. See the new cabinetry in here, new countertops, all granite up here. Got a lot of storage space too, a lot of cabinet area here. Got a uh, propane gas fireplace. And then another deck area, great for the grill and a great, great place to you know, view the property as well. 254 feet of waterfront, I said, and that is a lot. Arguably, I think this is, personally, I think this is the nicest lot in Beacon Shores because of what it gives you without the, uh, or not the access, but the 
sitting out there on the point where boats are running by in, on the weekend. So that's the better part of this. But you got a great open room here, cathedral ceilings, all new lighting, as you'll see there. When we come back into this wing of the house. We've got two wonderful bedrooms. And you'll, as we go through, you're going to see how every bedroom has these just incredible views uh, on this, not only on this side of the house, but as you go downstairs and check those out as well. So all your guests will be very happy with their accommodations. Bathroom up here, again, redone, tile floor, shower, it's got a nice, beautiful glass shower, doors there. Come on into the other bedroom here, same thing. Beautiful setup here, ceiling fans, smooth ceilings, you see all that. And again, another great view as you're laying in your bed, waking up one morning and check out the lake and see what your day has in store for you. Pantry area here, which is great, just off the kitchen. Got a lot of place to store some extra food. Come on into the laundry room. Laundry room area. Closet, coat closet here. Take a quick step into the two car garage on the top area here. Another great place to keep an extra refrigerator. They've also got pull down storage that you can see. It'll go up into the attic and then access out of the back door. Uh, getting back out to the yard. All right, we're going to go back through the living room area and go check out the uh, master slash primary bedroom, whatever you may call it these days. Come in here, what a great room. Cathedral ceilings, fantastic view. I just imagine, again, waking up and looking at that every morning. The other thing about the location, being here in Beacon Shores, we are only literally 15 minutes from the hospital, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Belks, you know, things like that, easy to get to access, Walmart, Superstores, Ingalls so forth. This bathroom I absolutely love. You got the double sinks, granite countertops, new cabinets, new flooring here as you can see. Got a separate tub here. We've got a beautiful shower. It's one of the prettiest showers I've ever seen actually. Got a lot of space. I like the rock flooring. Come on back here into the walk-in closet area. Plenty of space there. Again, all new fixtures. Very clean. This whole house just feels very clean and airy and light. You get a lot of light in this home. All right, let's head downstairs to the lower level. Check it out. Love the downstairs, uh, absolutely love it. So you've got this, even though it doesn't look like it, this flooring is actually tiled down here, but I love the color, love the whole feel of this area. So waterproof, you've got quartz countertops down here, you've got wine coolers over here, extra sink, nice little shelf area for the bar situation. Um, we're gonna head down. This recreation room I think is fantastic. Certainly you could put in a pool table, add some other games, things like that. Heck, you could even probably throw cornhole in this room is so large. Uh, I love the old door here, check that out. Nice old barn door to close, gives it a good feel. We've got full bathroom over here to the left, double sinks. Shower tub combo, first bedroom here. Again, look at the views that you have, you know, from the bedroom. And again, just how level it is getting over to the dock. And you've got access just around the corner. So easy to get to. We got a walk-in closet here as well.
plenty of space. Check this room out. This is interesting because you could um, actually make this another bedroom. It would in turn be the seventh bedroom, but technically you've got a closet. As you can see, you've got storage. We talked about storage area, but you could make this a huge walk-in closet if you wanted to. Now they've certainly used this as uh, storage space, extra room, even an office area here. Uh, you can make a workshop out of this area. So you've got a lot of potentials here. And again, you've got access right out to the main lake. Would make another great room though if you really needed room, although we have so many bedrooms here, but would make a great bunk room as well. My favorite bedroom, if I was a guest, would be this one. I mean, look at this view. So bright and airy, carpet, you know, on the floors, nice, comfortable, beautiful windows with all the views from three different angles. Again, smooth ceilings, new light fixtures. You know, anytime, especially on this lake, it's hard to find lots, and especially if you're going to be looking for something like this. It's, they're just not out there anymore. And that is the key to, to this home, is the piece of land it sits on, the location. But then again, it's got a great layout, very functional layout. Full bath here. Again, we've got a quartz or a granite countertop on that. We've got a tub shower combo. And come on into the second two-car garage area. <coughs> See the Bobcat tractor? If you're interested in the Bobcat tractor, he'd be interested in possibly selling that. Let's head on into here and check out the storage over here as well. You can see hot water heater, heat pump unit. More toys. Yep, more good, great place to keep your lake toys because, again, you've got easy access out of the garage right down to the lake. All right, let's head out the back here. Get you a nice game of poker going on in here with the poker table. Come out to this lower level patio area, which again, fantastic area. You can see they've got cover here, so even on a rainy day, you can get down here and enjoy this area. Come on down to the dock. Like I said, this dock was installed in 2018. So the dock relevant, you know, is, is fairly new. A little breeze today, knocked down a good point and stick. Nice long ramp. And this stuff, what I love about ironwood, it's just it's very heavy wood. Uh, it's not something that you find that, that splinters, you know, really often. You can put a, a new stain coat on this and make it look brand new. But you can see we've got a nice lift that is included. We got a jet ski buoy. You can also add another jet ski buoy if you would like. Um, the Duke, Duke Energy does allow a couple of jet ski buoys per dock. And you can see this dock has been permitted. The dock number is 5484. And so what we help you do at that point when you go to contract on the house, we can certainly help you get the dock transferred into your name. So, what a place. Look at this property. Take it all in. Take a good shot of the house from the back side. Like I said, great layout. Um, talked about the house itself and I think they've just done an absolute wonderful job uh, with the vision to, to get what they've got in there now. So if you have any interest in this home, give us a call, 800-682-9098. Enjoy the aerial video. That'll give you a good idea of just exactly where we're located.